Hey folks, it's Ben. Uh, I'm here on a cold day. Uh, I released a video that was pretty, actually went super well uh, with the lawnmowers and this awful snow that we have over there at the Quonset. Uh, since I shot that video, it's been stupid crazy cold. It's been like maybe 10, 20 degrees as a high during the wind, you know, during the day and below zero Fahrenheit almost uh, at night, so it sucks. Uh, so I really don't want to run a lawnmower, but I haven't actually shot an operational video on my snapper yet. So let's hit that right here. Uh, it's a one stage 19 uh, inch snowblower. Uh, it's got a little two cycle engine on it. It's missing its side plate here. So you can see the exhaust uh, and everything and all the belt mechanism. That's proved to be a pain because what happens is, is if you push it into a snowbank, unfortunately my belt kind of gets plugged up with snow and it makes everything slip. So that's not cool. Not to mention my belt's also getting a little worn. And it doesn't have its back plate either, so uh, that hasn't affected anything at all, but that's what that's for. Um, so what we're gonna do now is, if you notice my mixing fuel video, I've been able to mix fuel in little containers, so that's been working out great. But we'll start it up now, and I'll tripod the camera. We primarily use it to clear paths, so we've got the chicken coop that's over there, we've got the Quonset that's over there, and the lazy ass chickens. Um, we've got a path from the chickens, over to there where they like to hang out in the dirt um, and also to the dog. So uh, we'll fire this puppy up and then we'll do a little snow blowing. All right, so my dandy machines here, I'll call out to my mom if she watches this. She had a two stroke at one time when I lived back in Maine and it ran great till it didn't. Um, so turn the switch on, turn the choke to on, press the button a bunch. You don't have to check for oil. I'm assuming it's got gas. I should check see if it does have gas. Oh yeah, lots of gas. The only thing I also find is that this thing is really hard to pull because it's in the middle. It doesn't really pick a spot, but here we go. So that's a little operational demo hopefully for you. It's a cute little unit. The other fault I have with it, not that there's a fault, it was really cheap, is these crappy little wheels. It's really meant for uh, paved driveways, not uh, snow blowing grass. So these will get really tall with stuck snow and ice, possibly because it's here next to the warm motor. Uh, it really sticks and makes it hard to push around. But other than that, it's pretty good. Um, if you have any questions on it or suggestions for additional videos, it's really cold outside. Um, please subscribe to my channel, like the video if you do, and uh, also check out my other channel, Red Barn Homestead. Hey, look, there's the Red Barn, and here's the homestead uh, for other non motory vid videos, things like clockwork and crafts and how to cook and stuff like that. So, if you have any other questions and stuff like that, just let me know. Hey, Sorsha, say goodbye.